Welcome to my Celestron Travelscope 80 telescope review. As someone who's been stargazing for over 15 years, I've been fortunate enough to buy and test an extensive range of astronomy equipment. Now I recently had a holiday, so I decided to invest in the highest powered Travelscope Celestron has to offer and I used it a lot during that trip. So in today's video, I want to share with you as much as I possibly can about this telescope, including what it's like to use, what you can expect to see, and ultimately who I think that this telescope is best for. Let's start with the basics. I want you to understand the numbers because that's so important for everything that's gonna follow. What does the 80 mean? Well, that number refers to 80 millimeters or 3.1 inches. Now that's the aperture, or in other words, the diameter of the lens that this telescope has. Now this is really important to know as this dictates how much light the telescope can collect. The more light a telescope collects, the higher the aperture, the better you'll be able to see faint objects. Now this means that the Travel 80 is more optically superior to the Travel 70 or even the 50, you know, the lower powered telescopes in the range. Generally, the higher the aperture, the larger and more expensive the telescope. Now we have to remember that this telescope was designed to be portable, lightweight and relatively small. Hence why it leverages a shorter lens than some other telescopes on the market. Now let's talk about what it's actually like to use this telescope. Now it is a point and shoot telescope, meaning you can manipulate it to on its axis, either up or down, left or right, wherever you want to go in the night sky. Now to do that is relatively straightforward. There's just a couple of different controls you need to understand how to use. The first is the, the pan handle, which is this one that enables you to put it up and down on its axis. And then you also have this here, a, and then there's also another one. There's a, basically three that you need to be aware of and that enables you to manipulate the telescope to identify and find objects in the night sky. It's very easy to manipulate. In terms of setup, the tripod is pre-assembled. All you need to do is extend the legs fully or to where you want them to be, just making sure that they are equally extended and then you just lock them into position with these clips. It's all part of it. It's very, very simple. The other thing you need to do is attach the optical tube. So this comes separate, this comes separate, it's not pre-assembled. You attach it on here, it's very, very, very easy to do as well. And then you just need to attach the erect image diagonal, install the eyepiece, so this is a 20 millimeter, you get two eyepieces, I'll touch upon that in a second. And then you just need to do the finder scope, which is a couple of screws, you put that on as well. Now, one thing I want to quickly mention is that well, that, that process will take you about five to 10 minutes, but I like to leave this telescope up, but you can also disassemble it uh, as well. Now, one thing I want to mention is you do get an instruction manual with this telescope when you buy it, which walks you through that process, and it only takes about five to 10 minutes at most. Now, the build is quite lightweight. It's only four pounds total weight, or two kilograms, which makes it very easy to move, as you can see, but that does come at a cost. So you do need to be mindful of strong winds I don't think it'd knock it over, but it's not gonna be very stable and very usable. Then again, I probably wouldn't want to stargaze in those conditions anyway. Now, other than the use of it, what do you actually get included? Well, you get the travel backpack, which is here, which is a really, really nice backpack. And it has, if I open this up, it has, I've actually put some of the external packaging in there, um, but it's got different compartments basically to put all of the pieces. So when it's not, when you've not got your telescope up, and assembled you can store it all away in there and take it with you on the go that's obviously the benefit of this telescope um, but you get everything included that backpack you get the finder scope obviously the optical tube you get the erect image diagonal the two eyepieces so a 20 millimeter gives you a wider field of view of the sky and a 10 millimeter and obviously you get the tripod as well now just on that erect image diagonal that's really important because that reverses image so they appear the right way up and the right, the right way round. Now that's actually not the case with all telescopes unless you're using one of those components. So just bear that in mind, it's actually really important. So let me just quickly run through the pros and the cons of this telescope. Firstly, as I've mentioned, it's really quick to set up and use. I love that about it. It's, and it's great if you're obviously traveling for that reason. Everything comes included that you'll need. It won't break the bank. 
don't get me wrong, there is a little bit of a cost involved, but when you compare it to other telescopes on the market, it really is good value. It's really enjoyable to use as well. I think just because it's the way it's been designed and the fact that, you know, just setting it up can be quite fun and, you know, taking it with you on the go and just the way it's point and shoot, you've got a lot of control over that telescope and I really like that as well. And because it's not the most expensive telescope, it's, you're not too precious of it. And I think that's a benefit in a, in a kind of strange way. I also like the fact that the tripod can be adjusted, not just the legs here, but here as well. And it just makes it really comfortable to pet, regardless of your height. So in terms of cons, it's, I'm gonna to touch upon this in a second, and it's about what you can see with it. The first is that it does have a limited use in terms of what you can actually see. For instance, this telescope is not designed for serious astrophotography or high magnification views for that matter. And because it is lightweight as well, the other con I would say is it can be impractical if the weather conditions aren't optimal. So what can you see with the Travel 80? Well, as I've mentioned, being a travel scope, it is designed to be lightweight, so it doesn't have the most powerful optics. You have to be mindful of that. It's not meant for seasoned astronomers or anyone looking for kind of distant views. Instead, the moon is going to be the best thing to observe. I've had some amazing observing sessions of the moon so far with this telescope. I love it. I just love looking at the moon through this. Um, you'll get amazing views of it. But just bear in mind you need the right observing conditions for that. The other good thing is you get an included smartphone adapter and that will enable you to take photos of the moon in great detail. Now obviously the better your smartphone the better those pictures will come out. So other than the moon you are looking primarily at the solar system, planets, star clusters, double stars at a distance and general low power wide field sweeping of the night skies. So, who do I recommend this telescope for? Anyone who's new to astronomy and wants to see if it's a hobby for them before they invest more heavily into a more serious, powerful scope. Anyone who wants to get a telescope for quick setup and use and on the go, whether that's locally or if you've got a trip coming up, it'd be great for that as well. Kids, I think, can benefit from this, particularly if they're new to astronomy. It makes a fantastic gift and it won't break the bank. Also just casual observers, you know, sometimes you don't want the most expensive kit, you just want something that you can kind of use more casually, you know, qu quick, to, quick to set up, quick to get going with. And then also, anyone who's really interested in the moon, I think if you, if you want to observe the moon, moon primarily, this telescope has a lot of advantages as well. So ultimately, the Celestron Travel 80 is a fantastic travel scope that does offer a lot at its price point. I think that if you fall into one of the categories aforementioned, you will get a lot out of it. So other than that, best of luck and over to you.